I've been having so much fun, I forgot to take my medicine. That wasn't Goldie back there. Goldie's dead. And that's the whole reason that I've been doing what I've been doing. When you got a condition, it's bad to forget your medicine. That cold thing, it creeps into my gut and tells me one more time it won't let go. This is a bad place, this farm. People have died here. The wrong way. I don't want to fight Pooch. I got no gripe with you. Easy, boy. No way I was going to use my gun on you, buddy. It's whoever owns you I'm curious about. Because there's blood on your breath, and I think I know what kind. So I sniff around to see what's buried. Here we go. It's impossible. Nobody can sneak up on me. I go blind. Not a sound. Nobody's that quiet. Nobody except the one who snuck into that hotel room two nights ago. It was you, you bastard. You killed her. You killed Goldie. It was you. I blew it, Goldie. I found your killer, but he was better than me. Too quiet, too quick. A killer born. Why didn't he finish the job? He keeps the heads. He eats the rest. Lucia? It's not just that wolf of his. The wolf just gets scraps. Bones. It's him. He eats people. He cooks them like they were steaks. Let's get you warm. Just like they were steaks. Now he's got both of us. Just look at the heads on the wall. The heads on the wall. The heads on the wall. Son of a bitch. He kept smiling that damn smile. He made me watch him suck the meat off my fingers. He made me watch. Oh, he made me watch! I could use a cigarette. Dames. Sometimes all they gotta do is let it out. And a few buckets later, there's no way you'd know. You brought us some big trouble this time, Marv. Whoever's behind this whole thing has his connections right in the department. Any leads? One guy I talked to told me it was Rourke running the show. Whoever it is. He knew I was chucking out that hooker almost before I did. What hooker? The one you've been obsessing over. The dead one. Goldie. I didn't know she was a hooker. Doesn't make any difference about anything. But I didn't know that. She was high-class stuff. She must have shown you quite a time. Quiet. There's a car coming. Kevin! All I've got is a face and a name. I'll see you later, Kevin. Let's go. Check in the house. Coming this way. Bastards, I'll show them. You're not gonna get either of us killed, Marv. 
No! Don't shoot! Please, listen to me. I'm his parole officer. He's unconscious and unarmed. So there's no need to kill him. Captain, the target. There's no sign of him. Here's the sign. <laughs> One damn fine cook you were. I keep coming back to that cop I just killed and what he told me. I was pretty steamed about what he'd done to Lucille, so I took my time with that son of a bitch. It wasn't until I showed him all those pieces of himself that he said it. Just a name. Patrick Henry Rourke, Man of the Cloth. Could have become president, but he chose to serve God. And along the way, he just happened to become the most powerful man in the state. He's brought down mayors and governors like they were nothing. He even made his rotten brother a U.S. senator without breaking a sweat. And here he's gonna get killed in the name of a dead hooker. I'm getting used to the idea. More and more, I'm liking the sound of it. Then it hits me like a kick in the nuts. What if I'm wrong? I've got a condition. I get confused sometimes. And with Lucille dead, I can't get my medicine. What if I've imagined all of this? What if I finally turn into what they've always said I was gonna turn into? A maniac. A psycho killer. Can't kill a man without knowing for sure you ought to. I've gotta know for sure. The merchandise is on display by the time I make my way to Old Town. For an hour or so, I ask around about Goldie. I don't get any answers, but I know I'm bound to. Lucille said Goldie was a hooker. And if she was, she has roots here. Friends, maybe even family. You can't be Goldie. Goldie's dead.